So now in this video we're going to look at an interesting component that I got from the Joe Knows Electronics kit. So you can see they wrote the name on there so they probably took it. So it says S102S is for the surface mount component. So there you can see it's a, a little surface mount component. You just uh, solder it directly to a board and it looks like they put that together. We're only using the two end pins right here. And uh, so this is a current regulating diode. That's what they uh, call it. And so if you put it in the right direction, it's going to limit how much current flows through them. And these are rated for one milliamp of current. So we're going to pull back and set the meter to a measure milliamp right there. It's an auto ranging meter, pretty straightforward. I don't have to move the red probe for anything but high current. So we're uh, all set to go there. And so it should be uh, one milliamp. I think it has a 10% tolerance though, where it could be 10% higher or lower. And we won't damage anything if I put the probes backwards. We will just get a negative voltage. So you can see we are pretty close there. I meant a negative current. If I put it backwards, there you can see we got, uh, once I get a good connection, the same number, just a negative number right there. Currents go in the opposite direction. That's all that means. So in any case, we can change the load. We'll do one LED first. And uh, so I have five volts at the uh, power supply right there. So that should be enough to keep the current uh, steady. I think it may shift just a spec, but uh, it's pretty reliable right there. It says uh, 0 0.96. And I think it may have just dropped that tiny spec in any case. Make sure you put the LED the right way. Long lead, anode more positive, short lead the cathode more negative, or else it won't light up. And uh, there you can see it went down a little bit, 0 0.91. But I think that may be because we're losing a little too much voltage with the LEDs for it to hold that. So I'll go up a couple more volts right there and we'll come back. So I have current limited at 20 milliamps too. We'll see why uh, coming up. But uh, in any case, let's go back. And now we should have about that same current. So a lot of times the current sources there you can see 0.97. You may need to make sure you have enough uh, supply voltage. You may or may not. So. This one seems to be doing a lot better than the second one, the other one that I showed you. So I'm going to put it in the same direction. Now direction is important right there. And so I believe that's called the anode and that's called the cathode, I believe. But it's a little hard to read the data sheet. But in any case, this is what I've been getting with this one, about 0.87. So now I'm going to put it in backwards. And if you're going to test it going in backwards, make sure uh, if you're not absolutely sure, which direction you have it, make sure you got uh, some resistance there to uh, limit current. I also have the power supply set to limit current, 20 milliamps. I believe I showed you that earlier. So in any case, there we go. We plugged it in the opposite direction. And now you're going to see that uh, this resistor does not limit it below 20 milliamps. So right now the power supply is limiting the current. And uh, so one way you can tell that with the power supply I always try to limit the power supply current in case I do something like that, wire something backwards or something and we get more current than we expect. I limit the power supply to the current that we can expect. And it may be a little hard to see there, but it says CV right now. And when current is being limited, it says CC for constant current. So that's how we know that it is backwards. So now we'll put it uh, in another direction. And we already saw that uh, with the LEDs, we got the same amount of uh, current. And uh, so that should be true with the resistor too. As we change the load, as long as you put this in the right way and the LEDs in the right way, you should get a reliable current. So now we should get back to uh, one milliamp. Got uh, the LEDs forward bias. So I'm actually gonna bypass the LEDs first. We'll look at the current just through the uh, component there, 0.87. Now we'll do one LED. 0.87 and the other 0.85 so holding pretty close to one though so I believe this should be about 10% though tolerance we're gonna be 10% higher or lower I don't know if I damaged it a little bit before or whatnot and uh, so in any case good idea probably to measure that if you need to know exactly the current you're getting but uh, it's still really close to one milliamp so in any case hope you enjoyed Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting on the screen. If you can make a donation, please do. I have links down below. That helps out the most. But uh, just watching videos helps out a ton too. 
I appreciate that. So thanks for watching them. Make sure you turn off the uh, multimeter, especially get it off measuring current.